Hey, 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 everyone. Today, we, today we're doing exercise 5.2 on this textbook here. So it's on page 215. This is it right here. However, if you look at it, they're actually referring us to an exercise that was to to listing 5.4 which is a code that is already written for us right so listing 5.4 subtraction quiz loop dot java generates five random subtraction questions revise the program to generate 10 random addition questions for two integers between 1 and 12 display the correct count and test time okay i know i've said this before you guys that i'm not gonna um, give out solutions on exercises that are actually referring us to some code that is already written right but i'm gonna make an exception on this exercise so what we wanna do right now is to just jump onto this page where this exercise was created so here's a case study you can read it yourself in case you don't have a pdf which i which i doubt is the case okay you can read through and see what's going on so basically here's our sample run what is nine minus two that's the other you guys can see what's going on here right okay let's jump back to our question on hand this is it right here so i'll simply go to my ide i've already created a class and declared and initialized two variables and the constant so in total we want 10 questions so that's gonna take care of that this count here counts the, the number of questions so far this counts the number of correct questions tells us it's as it's exp, it's self-explanatory i hope everyone can tell so i don't need to explain a thing about that so let's get to the core of this exercise so here's what i i want first okay here's what i want start time i also want the start time for my system dot print oops system dot current millis okay this is the start time for my for my game okay so it's gonna be string output this right here is gonna be what to be displayed on the screen okay so what else do i want okay that's pretty much it right now let's get in inside our loop so here's what's going to happen why do i use a for loop a while loop why not a while loop no a while or no a for loop i mean it's a matter of making a choice guys i will keep saying this but at the moment i just chose a while loop right i could have chosen a for loop right it's not like there's a valid reason behind that as long as you know the structure of your loop okay so here's what i'll do i'll just go count while count is less than number of oops that's constant there um, rather than typing the whole thing let me just copy and paste okay while this is the case here's what i want to do i want to generate i generate two random numbers between 1 and 15 okay of course the byte will 
be appropriate for this case okay so I'll just go method random six oh let's just go 15 16 so this will give me zero numbers from zero to or oh, what I can do is one plus so this right here will give me numbers from zero to to 15 and then I add a one of course this one I could edit outside which is what I'm used to by the way and just go one plus it's just that I would have to do another concatenation another typecasting okay I'm gonna have to typecast again right that's what I'm used to but as long as you understand what's going on that's what matters okay that's our first number and our second number is that and once we are done doing that we ask a student system dot out dot print if you noticed I'm not referring to that code they already gave us I'm just writing this thing off my mind what is number one plus number two. it's no longer a subtraction quiz right it's a it's an addition quiz what is number one plus number two So I'm gonna define a variable here called the answer. To store a user's answer. So it's gonna be scanner dot next bytes. I don't know if we've used next bytes before, but it, it works pretty much the same as next ints. Right? It's just that right now we're dealing with bytes as opposed to integers, okay? now it's time to grade the answer and display the result so we gotta grade the answer and display the result i know folks that some of you might find this not valuable but I can assure you that once we got on to interesting stuff such as interesting topics such as objects oriented programming data structures that's where you'll see how useful this channel is okay I should have said plus there okay if this is the case then you know that the user is correct you are correct system dot out dot print you are correct otherwise Okay, it seems like I wanna do something else here. I will also wanna update my number of correct. Answers number of correct questions. Oh, perhaps I, I should have used correct answers. 
Um, and that makes sense compared to what we had. Okay. Wanna increment that? Otherwise, system dot out dot print then. Here's what I want to write. In fact, let me check what they had. <gasps> Oops. Oh, gosh. They don't have it here. It's on that. It's on listing 5.4, and I cannot go there. If my memory serves me, serves me well, they had something of this sort. Your answer is wrong and then let's go to the next line then say number one plus number one plus Number two, should be, should be, number one plus number two. It is important that you put that inside the bracket, folks. These brackets are crucial, so make sure you put them, otherwise you're going to get something incorrect. It's going to be a concatenation of number one and two instead of addition. Okay, regardless of what happened, what we want to do is to update count. Because count actually counts the number of exercise questions, right? So, once I'm done doing that, what I want to do is to go, oh, is to update my output. By simply going output, I want to concatenate my output with the following. Firstly, I want to go to the next line and then number one plus number two is equals to that. I want to go number one. Plus number two is equal to oops, is equal to is equal to um, Is equals to answer is equals to did I write it right? Okay, I forgot. Um oops. Number one plus number two, I forgot. There over there is equals to answer. Answer. Did 
because to answer here's what I, I want to determine whether or not that is correct I'll simply put that over there and then put a question mark if this is the case I'll concatenate that with correct otherwise I'll concatenate that with wrong mm. Ooh, I've been taking I've been doing this for quite some time I think it's time for me to rest now because I seem to no longer able to type well okay now that I'm done with that, what's the next thing to do? It will be to close my loop, which is that right there. And then lastly, I'll simply display the output. System dot out dot print len co correct correct No, 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 this supposed to be there. Um, okay, that's supposed to be correct. Count is is number of correct answers. Okay. Test time is backslash T. Test time is Put it like this. It is goes to be system dot current mean is minus that time, right? And then what? Gotta connect. Gotta concatenate that with milliseconds. Let's go to the next line. Milliseconds, and then I go to the next line. Then put my output. Output. Okay, there was a lot of work to do. Oh, in fact, what I need to do here is to go because I want this thing to be in seconds is to go divided by 1000 because I know this will give me the amount in milliseconds the time it took in milliseconds however i want the time it took in seconds so that's why i've got to divide by a thousand hopefully everything works as expected and if it doesn't you're gonna have to bear with me guys as i just said 
I've been recording for quite some time. For quite some time, so. Mm, let's put five, for instance. E, mm, your answer is wrong. It's 13. What is that? Six. You are correct. What is, say, four, four? You're wrong. What is, let's go 10. 12 plus 4, 8. 10. Uh, let's just go. The answer is 14. We're wrong again. 33. We're wrong again. Mm. Twenty eight. Okay. Correct. Let's see if this is correct. How many wrongs did I get? Your answer is wrong one. Okay, let's count correct answers. That's one, two, three, four. Okay, correct count is four. This time is 50 milliseconds. Okay, let's see. Let's compare that to the output they have right here. Okay, I should have had my test time is that seconds. And the next line. So basically, the only thing there was on correct is this part. Which can be sorted out by simply putting a best slash C. Backslash N, I mean, somewhere, somehow. I thought I did. I had a backslash T as opposed to backslash N. So, let's try it for the last time now. Again, what I need is to have a space. Okay, there. Okay, so let's start over. What is, let's just go 11. Let's figure out everything. Nineteen. Sixteen. Twenty. Fifteen. Twenty six minus two twenty four seventeen seven. Okay, that should be it for this tutorial, you guys. I'm gone, chess.